how's Dancing with the Stars going? I thought your performance went great, oh, and how are you enjoying thank it? Thank you. I love it so much. I wanted to do it for a long time. I'm such a geeked out fan for the show, and I got Derek Huff. I couldn't believe it, and I'm just thrilled to be his partner. And you know, every day is a challenge, and I can't wait to get there and make everything better and better and better. And it's really, it's really an experience because it's such a well-oiled machine at this point. You know, the hair and the makeup and the wardrobe and the song choices. And, you know, they just know what they're doing. And I, it's funny because I'm such a such a mogul in the rest of my life. You know, I write these books and I teach classes and I go around speaking and I do other projects and I'm in a Hallmark series and I've got two movies coming out and all this. But I'm so vulnerable to this experience because it's such a huge operation and it's so well done. And I'm just, you know. You know, it's like a moving train, and it's moving fast, and I'm just hanging on for dear life, <laughs> but enjoying every step. I was going to ask you, know? you about your memory. I, I was researching that, and I came across an article that said that you remember your baptism. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. I don't say, oh, it was a Sunday, but yeah. I mean, it's really true. I remember the sensation of it. My, my I mean, okay, this this is how unusual my family was. My godmother was a nun. Okay. My godmother was a nun. And my godfather was my gay uncle. So I had like a little bit of, you know, a yin and yang for sure. That's America. <laughs> that's America. So, so you actually do remember the baptism. That's, that's fascinating to me. Do you, how old were you? Yeah. Um, and I was, was three weeks old. You were three I was three weeks old, but I but I wasn't saying, oh, I'm here in St. John Birchman's, you know, St. John Birchman's, you know, uh, baptismal room. You know what I mean? But I remember the sensation, the the light, the white. I remember, but I, I mean, do you, I have a very unusual memory. I don't know how many people remember their baptism. You know, it's very. It's a very, uh, I mean, you know, I've been tested. They've taken 300, 300 measurements of my brain, and they found nine areas ten times larger than the normal brain. Right. They call it highly superior autobiographical, autobiographical memory. Yes. Memory. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah. How did you prepare to play someone who is grieving, which is sort of, you know, against your usual characters, which are very vivacious and funny? Well, here you're going to love this story. Okay, so Corbin Burnson calls me about doing it because he and I played the parents on the glades, and we've stayed in contact over the years, and I just adore him. And I read this, and I went, oh, she's, you know, this is a very unusual character for me because, as you said, my character is usually very upbeat and vibrant. And so I said, but, I, you know, I, I love the challenge, and I certainly, having lost my father very young, young in life. I was 17 at the time. My father, my mother was, <laughs> excuse me, 49. My father was 52. So I know what it's like to be kind of the grieving widow. So I, I thought, okay, yeah, this would be great. And then I called them a week before I was supposed to leave for Virginia Beach. And I said, um, you know, my characters lived in this house for 30 years. Do you want photographs around? I mean, the, the Philip Boyd, who plays my son in the movie, younger pictures of my son might look like him. So, you know, I'll send you pictures. And they said, oh, do you have any uh, pictures of you in a, a wedding dress? And I or, or, you know, in like wedding pictures. And I went, hey, you're in luck because I've been married three times. So sure, I'll send you, I'll send you some wedding pictures. So now they see my... My husband, my current third and final husband, and they said, wow, he looks like our image of the character Lyle. Is he coming to Virginia Beach with you? And I said, well, he is. He's kind of dropping me off because we're going to be in New York before that. And he thought he'd take the trip down for a couple of days. And they said, oh, would he take pictures with some of the other cast members so we could take pictures around the house like these were the family photos? And I said, I'll ask him. And then they said, oh, wait a minute. He'd have to come two weeks later for the coma scene and be in a coma. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> so my husband was a publisher. I mean, he is as far away from show business as you can imagine. He said he'd love to do it. So he came down, took pictures with everybody, you know, fishing pictures with one character and stiff pictures with the kid, with Philip, who's playing our son, and family pictures and everything else. And they used his pictures everywhere. And then he came back two weeks later actually grew out a beard because there was one scene where I shaved him, but they got they got rid of that. But but anyway, so he came down, and he was the guy in the coma at the beginning of the movie. So, you know, I, I guess because my husband also played the character of Lyle that I just lost, and because I had this experience with my, my mother, you know, watching her grieve, my father's death, it was... It, it, it was something that really tapped into my memories and, and into my heart 